welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video, you guys, is a collab. You know, a collab when you get together with a whole lot of people and you do different things. Well, that's what we're doing today. So the kids and I have been invited. We are so excited to be invited. Excited to be invited. Hey. We are invited to do what's called Croctober Extravaganza, you guys, where we're making a crock pot or an instant pot meal. And we were invited to this collab by Amanda from The Bills, formerly The Fundamental Home, and Lisa over at Sutton's Days. So here's the thing. All things discount stores, Amanda Bill. All things prepper, get yourself ready for whatever, whenever, Lisa Sutton over at Sutton's Days. So the kids and I are jumping in. We're doing a crop, we're doing an instant pot meal. I had planned a, a crock pot meal, but what had happened was, is my time ran short. Lots of things happening. Alana's in the fridge. Jackson's in the garage. We live in our house. We do all kinds of things in this kitchen. So I'm going to be making a fish chowder. This is keto friendly and I hope you guys like it. I've made it before and a lot of people have asked me what is, you know, what's the recipe. So I'm going to share with you kind of what I'm going to be doing. Couple things, couple players here. I've got my instant pot. This is, a, I wish I knew how many quarts this was, but I don't. It's a big one. Sorry, y'all. All right, so we have a couple players, you guys. Um, tilapia. Now, let me tell you, this is a seafood chowder, not just specifically a fish chowder. Um, I've made it before with just fish, and I've also made it when you get the little bag from Aldi that has like the clams and the mussels and the shrimp and the little mini baby scallops, but they didn't have that when I went to um, Aldi to find that. So today we're just gonna use our tilapia and it's gonna be perfectly fine. I did think about putting in some cod and I also thought about putting in some flounder. I like a hearty fish that is gonna stand up to the instant pot. So think about that. Um, now, as a general rule, I do wash all of my meat. So as a general rule, I do uh, wash all of my meat, but when this comes out of the package like this, I don't usually worry about it. And it is still kind of partially frozen, which is no problem. Works out perfect. We love this soup. It is beginning to get a little chilly here, although it was like 943 degrees today. And I don't know why, but it has been chilly in the mornings and most evenings it's been chilly. So, all right, so I was able to get six tilapia out of that bag. I think I'm gonna borrow a couple out of the other bag as well. So let's see if Alana will bring me some out of the other bag, if we still have that bag somewhere. But six tilapia may not sound like a lot. Again, you can add in any um, seafood that you like. Last time I made this, we did it with um, the seafood blend that had the mussels, the, the clams, the baby scallops, and shrimp. So I think I'm going to take two more, two more fillets. All right, that is real. Those are really frozen. So I have about eight um, tilapia in here. Again, I think I would like to try this with a cod. That's a, a pretty thick or substantial uh, fish and even a flounder, but I've cut the flounder. I think the cod would be better. So I'm also adding in um, cauliflower because we are not potato people, being keto. And normally I would add in two bags of cauliflower, but we are out of cauliflower. So I'm adding in a cauliflower and broccoli. Now, Shakima, would you normally add in broccoli into a chowder? Not necessarily. But listen, we're doing what we have to do, right? The other thing that I'm going to add into this is um, chihote, which is a type of squash. And um, some of my subscribers have said they have subbed these in for potatoes. Normally, we use these sweet. We make a sweet, like an apple, but and we would put radishes in. But today, we're going to give it a go. And I think I'm going to just go ahead and peel and dice these and throw them in and then we'll put our seasonings in we're gonna set this set it and forget it all right so just some things about this collab there are a ton of ladies on it every day for the month of october you're going to get a new video that's either going to be a crock pot or an instant pot meal that your family can try 
So they also have a Facebook group. I will leave a link down in the description box below if anybody is interested. There's also going to be some giveaways. They're giving away lots of great prizes every day. There's going to be people posting. Um, on the day that my video goes live, I'm going to be live in the group hosting a Q&A. So I would love to see some of you lovelies over there hanging out with Shakima. Now these um, gel, they, they peel beautifully. I mean, they peel so beautifully, but they slippery little boogers. That's all I gotta say about that. So I've got two of those. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wash my hands up very quickly and dice these. So I hate to name names because I'll leave somebody out. I know I will, and I don't wanna do that. But there are a ton of ladies that I watch on YouTube that are gonna be a part of this collab. And I'm like, oh my word, oh my word. Um, Tangie, my girl Tangie from Freedom Homestead will be in the collab. Um, Jennifer from A Country Life, I love her channel. She's awesome and all the things. And I know a lot of you guys watch Jennifer. Um, um, Christine from Fit Frugal Mom is doing a dessert. She's at the end of the month. Um, Farmer Mima, Keto Wife Life, I love her life. Um, who started it? I can't remember, y'all. There'll be a list down in the description box of everybody that is a part of the collab. And like I said, there's 30 days worth of crock pot recipes. So even if you don't catch it right at the beginning, you could have a crock November. I mean, live your best life, whatever you want to do. And don't let nobody else tell you that you cannot because you can. You can do whatever you want to do. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. And if you want to have a crocktober in November, do it. Because I said so. In Jesus' name. So I'm throwing those in. Normally I would put some um, onions in here, but I don't have any onions. I don't traditionally put pep green peppers in. That's not something that I would normally do. I do have some mushrooms if my children would find themselves to uh, be able to help me with my mushrooms. That would be so most helpful. They look like little pears. That's what they look like. So I'm just dicing these up. Kind of, you know, not too thin, but not too thick. They are gonna go in the instant pot and pressure cook. I don't want them to be mushy though. And I've never used these as um, potatoes either. So we're gonna see, we're gonna all try it together. I do like crock pot meals and instant pot meals because it's like an all in one, like get it all in at one time and live your best life. Mushrooms, lovely, no clue. Mom did something with them. Helped me figure out what that was. Hmm, we lost the mushrooms. Um, so yeah, don't forget if you want to come over to the Facebook group, I will put that information. All the information will be down below. Also a playlist of all the ladies that have gone before me and you guys, okay, so for real, guess who's after me? Like the very next day after Shakima. Y'all cannot believe this. The Lemonade Mom. Lemonade Mom, what? I watch her too. Shut all the doors today. Lemonade Mom is coming up after Mom. After Shakima, the organized mom, she had um, crock pot macaroni and cheese. There was like a um, cheese soup, a crock pot cheese soup that was really good. I'm like, oh my word, I have got to try some of these recipes. I have noticed I say have to because I have not just yet. And the reason I have not just yet is because my schedule. So one of the things I like to do, especially when I'm doing a soup that doesn't have a lot of like... Um, a lot in it, which the base of this soup is just the fish, which is lighter. Um, I do like to bulk it with veggies. Um, do I have any carrots, Jack? Normally I would put carrots in here. And I did forget when I was at the grocery store, I saw that keto lady use these little baby corns. She made some cornbread and she used some baby corns. Um, she's used them even though she is keto because she only used a small amount. So I thought, hey, that might be good because in traditional chowder, you do have corn. But I forgot those two when I went to the grocery store. It's not something I would normally buy. I was only gonna buy it for this recipe. So it's fine. I always make it without that. But you could throw in corn or whatever type of a hearty veggie. So as I'm trying to bulk out a soup, I'll just add in like mushrooms, carrots, 
um, celery if I have it, which we don't have celery today. And I do traditionally pack out this soup and we'll have it for a meal, but then we'll also have it for lunch for the next day. Traditionally, we would make um, a cornbread, a keto cornbread to go with it. Um, but it's fairly simple. If you just chop, it's a lot of chopping of whatever ingredients you wanna have. Um, Jackson went to find me some canned carrots because I don't have any um, regular carrots. We don't use a lot of carrots either. We use a little bit of carrots and we only use them every now and then, specifically when we make making like a soup or a stew. Now that pack of mushrooms was only about, there were six, six in there, was a small pack. And that again is gonna give us like a protein source. So that's going in. Carrots. Now we're going to do sliced carrots. I'm only doing half of this. Put the rest of that in a bowl. We'll, we'll do some maybe ginger carrots with that. All right, so everything that's going in there is in there. We've got the fish, we've got the chiote, we have the mushrooms, the carrots, the cauliflower. Um, now I'm going to add in seasoning. Pretty much that is it to the um, pot with the exception of your liquid. So I'm gonna add in a nice amount of salt. One of the things that I find is sometimes we don't salt enough um, and we end up having to add it on the end, which is fine, but I'd rather just go ahead and add it now so that all the flavors cook together. And there's a lot of veg in there. I mean, we have two bags of the cauliflower. We've got the chihote. We have the mushrooms that don't really have any flavor. We have the carrots. So there's a, a lot of good veg, and then all the fish is at the bottom. So I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic pepper. That's just garlic pepper. I'm gonna add in chili seasoning. We add chili seasoning or chili powder to every almost everything we cook in our house. We are chili powder people. We, we, we here for it. And the reason I'm on this side of my kitchen is because this is the only place that I don't have top cabinets because I don't want to release the pressure of the Instant Pot where I have top cabinets so it doesn't warp the wood of my cabinets. And we do go pretty heavy on the chili powder. This is an option. You can leave it out if you don't love it. The next to the last thing that I'm going to add in, this is um, chicken bouillon, chicken flavor bouillon. And I know this is a fish dish, but I'm gonna add it in. I'll probably do a half a half a tablespoon. Cause normally I would give, I would do chicken stock, maybe a whole tablespoon. It's perfectly fine. I'm gonna add in two cups of water. And because this is a light fish, I'm just gonna put it on the soup setting for 20 minutes and that will be it. Alrighty, you guys, so we're done. It has beeped and all the things, the steam has, the pressure has released. We're gonna open up this Instant Pot and see what we're working with. Alrighty then, so here's what we have. I'm actually gonna let you see this a little bit closer. So here's our stew. Now it looks a little dark on the top and that's from that um, chili powder. So I'm actually gonna gently move around because I don't wanna break up the fish too much, but remember we put the fish at the bottom. So I'm actually just breaking this up some. I can see the chihote. It does look like potatoes, so we'll see how it, We'll see what it does. Now, it's not chowdery yet, but we're getting ready to make it that way. Now, you can do this in several different ways. It's really up to you and how you want to do it. I put in heavy whipping cream. I don't measure this. I would say probably a third to a half cup 
I just put it in until it turns white. And there's not much left in that, so live your best life. That's all I'm saying. Then I normally put sour cream, but I don't have sour cream right now. And I put cream cheese. So this is a garden vegetable cream cheese, and there's already veggies in there. So I'm going to put about this much in there. Not quite half of this container. So I'd say three to four ounce, three ounces maybe. Two and a half to three ounces. Now I don't put in my cream products before I cook it. I put in the cream products after. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure to go ahead and melt that, you know, move that cream cheese around so that it gets nice and melted. Nice and melted. All right, so what I have here now is just how I use, how we eat it. It's creamy. It's, the fish is kind of not all the way apart, but it is um, cooked through. The veggies are cooked through, and I'm going to serve. So I usually just take a ladle. And we make sure we get everything that is in this soup or this chowder. So that gives us about a couple ladles full. I'm going to toss some sharp cheddar cheese on top. It's already cheesy enough, but we like cheese. And then this is what our seafood chowder looks like. So I'm gonna let Jackson give this a little taste because Jackson is mom's taste tester. And we're gonna actually show you some of our keto cornbread as well. And then he will tell you how it is and what he thinks. Don't forget to head over to the Facebook page, Croptober uh, Extravaganza. So Jackson's gonna try the chowder. Here's what it looks like. He's gonna try that and let you know. Make sure you get one of those shahol things in there and see if it tastes like a potato. Oh, wow, that is not necessarily spicy, but I see. see. Like it tiny, it's like a tiny kick, and then with Where? all that. Where's the kick? It's not just a like a tiny, tiny, but since it's so hot right now, it just like. Oh, sure. no, that's perfect. Make your eyes water. Don't make my eyes water. My okay. eyes ain't water. Mom's okay. Alana, come taste this Mom, perfection. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. This right here is perfection. You don't even know how all to get it. All the are. You're out. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Mm. Mm. Mom, that's, that's my soup in my spoon. Huh? That's my soup in my spoon. Oopsie. You can have it. Try it, Lon. Girl, that right there. Mm. That'll make you want to slap your mama. Somebody else mama, though. <laughs> well, not, I will be. Don't come over here and try to slap your mama, because that will not go out. I mm. will be the judge of this. Be it takes a judge. lot to wow me. You right. Yeah, that is true. It's hot though. Why <laughs> don't do that? I will say it tastes better than the last chowder we had. Right, right, right. Come on through, Jesus. Come on through. So anyway, you guys, there it is. That's our chowder. It's really good, and I can't wait to eat the rest of it. Don't forget, head over to Facebook. The link will be down below for the Croctober Extravaganza. You want to sign up for those giveaways because they got some good prizes. Trust me, I know. If you haven't already, go over to Amanda's channel. Go to Lisa's channel and all the other channels in the playlist. Give them some love. Tell them Shakima sent you. Listen, we are doing our thing, okay? This is Croctober. We extravaganza ring. And this chowder is getting ready to get devoured by these people in this house. So, anywho, there it is. Don't forget, Lemonade Mom is coming up after me. So, you're going to go over and enjoy her video, too. Tell us Shakima sent you. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe. All the things. So, we'll see you guys later. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. And don't forget the corn. Don't forget the corn.